Friends, welcome back to the saw mill. Today I'm going to saw up something. I'm not sawed any of this in a long time. It was probably back when I had my LT35. It's the last time I've sawed up any sycamore. Been a long time, guys. I didn't saw up any on the 40, and this is the first time it's landed on the 70, so this is going to be a treat. So me and Dad just went and got these logs yesterday. They came from some land over in Southwest Virginia that actually used to belong to my grandfather. And I've also got some kinfolk that are buried there and the family cemetery is just down the road from it. So there's a lot of uh, family significance, I guess, in this log. And I have a responsibility to try to get the best lumber possible out of it, even though it's sycamore, which is not the best log to put on a sawmill. This isn't a really big log. It's an eight footer. I cut it about eight foot three. Diameter on the operator's side is, gosh, what is that? About 13 inches. It's 14 inches down here. Once I turn the sawmill on and I put this laser on it, I'll probably use my tow boards down here to level up the pith. That's one good thing about that laser. It really does good in leveling up the pith on your log. It also does really good in seeing where you're gonna be sawing at. I really like that laser. It's an expensive upgrade. It's about $1,000, but after having it, I wouldn't want a sawmill without it, friends. It does really good. But for you guys that do portable work, and are not under shelter like I am, I don't know how good it would do in the sunlight. So uh, be conscious of that if you're thinking about getting one. So this is sycamore like I was saying, and the reason it's not a really good saw log is because sycamore has interlocking grain, very similar to elm and beech. And what that means is on the growth ring, let me see if I can explain this the best way. So throughout the years, as this tree grows on the growth rings, the grain will go one way sometimes, and then for some reason, another year will come along, and it'll go the other way, and it twists. It makes for a real problem when you saw up wood, and that's why you need to quarter saw it. If you don't quarter saw it, when it comes out of the dry kiln, you're going to end up with a mess. It's going to twist, you're going to have bows everywhere, something will be real stable. Now on the sawmill today, I'm running the Silver Tip Turbo 7. I just put that blade on there before I loaded this log, friend, so it's going to be a brand new blade. We should be able to fly through this log without any issues. There's a lot of moisture, a lot of water content in sycamore, which I think makes it a little bit easier to saw because of that. I get my blades from Joe Main down in Georgia. If you're interested in those blades or you want to try them out, give him a call. His cell phone number is down in the video description. So hang in there, guys. I'll open this up and you might be surprised at how the grain looks when you quarter saw sycamore. It's really nice. And uh, one more thing, for you guys that entered the giveaway, what time is it? It's about 3.30. I should know the answer or have a winner rather in about an hour or two. I just talked to Chris Killinger and he's gonna be picking a winner sometime today and sending that over to me. So as soon as I get that, I'll stop what I'm doing and I'll come over here and show you guys or tell you rather who the giveaway winner is. So uh, stay tuned for that also. Somebody's gonna win some suspenders and some coffee.
not a really big yield from this log. The average width on our boards is about four inches. As far as board footage, I have no idea because we've got so many different uh, widths over there in our stack. I'm not sure how good we did, but we did okay, just not really wide, and that's because this was a smaller log. But real quick, friends, I just got a message from Killinger, and he just got through using a random comment picker to choose the winner for the suspenders and the coffee, and the winner is Eric Paramore. And I may be butchering your name, Eric. If I am, I apologize, but you are the winner, Eric. Congratulations. If you don't care if you're watching this video, Eric, my email address is down in the video description. Send me an email and we'll be sure to get the suspenders out to you and also the coffee. And something else, I'll try to find some footage here to lay over. This also has some what you would call ray fleck in it because of the interlocking grain and it has the appearance of quarter sawn oak where you have the medullary rays. You do have some ray fleck with sycamore because of the interlocking grain. So thanks for watching, friends. I really appreciate it. And thanks to everybody on Patreon for supporting me here on the channel. You guys have a good weekend. We'll see you back here tomorrow. We're going to quarter saw some more sycamore and go work on the timber frame for just a little bit. Y'all have a good night.